So I think you'd agree with me that Siam Reap has pretty much got us captive at least for two or three days while we're checking out Angkor. So let's make the best of it. Let's check out the night scene here. Actually, there's a lot of fun things to see and do in Siam Reap. And this little night market here across the street from Sa Cha, the old market every night, right against the Siem Reap River. It's actually pretty cool and you can sit outside and have some street food and check out what's going on here, the activity here. I love durian. bunch of Windex in my face. Mm. Uh, just back over on the east side of the Siem Reap River. Uh, easy to remember, east side is the quieter side, west side is kind of more the party side, but you can find some lively spots on the east side, like uh, they have a hard rock cafe here on the east side. On the east side of the river, don't overlook the Wat Bo neighborhood for a quieter evening with local family-run spots and modern restaurants. Great area for cultural shows. Anything presented by Cambodian Living Arts, by the way, is always first class. Every Saturday from 6 to 7 p.m., see a free cultural show at the Made in Cambodia Market. And don't forget to check out the Fair Cambodian Circus, the Cirque du Soleil of Southeast Asia. Just a quick little walk through Pub Street. Uh, we'll come back to this uh, later in the video. Pub Street is like the Khao San Road of Siem Reap or Bouvian Street of uh, Siem Reap, like either Saigon or Bangkok's backpacker section. Now there's not actually a lot of uh, like hostels here or 
hotels, but just a lot of bars. And I mean, basically it caters to foreigners here. This is like foreigner central, Gringolandia, as they would say in uh, Quito, Ecuador. So let's uh, check out a little bit of action here. Thailand Farang, Farang Street. Oh, we got two Batmobiles here. This is like a Batmobile fleet. I didn't know Audi was in the manufacturing business of tuk-tuks. I guess they are. Audi tuk-tuk. There's a lot of Batmobiles around here. Somebody told me 20. 20? Do you have music? No music? Yeah, no music. It looks cool though. Very nice. I didn't know BMW manufactured tuk-tuks. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. You have a really nice tuk-tuk. Ah. This is very beautiful. Oh, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, very nice. The rails, very nice. Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Another Batmobile. <laughs> Lots of Batmobiles here. Yes. <laughs> so obviously, somebody had the idea to put the Batman logo on their tuk-tuk. And uh, obviously, foreigners ate it up. So now there's like, somebody told me like 30 of them around here. 30 Batmobiles. There used to be a guy around here five years ago that had this tuk-tuk totally kitted out. He had a uh, TV in it with a DVD player and uh, music, um, but I can't seem to find him. I don't know what happened to him. We've got a major Cineplex inside here if you want to check out a Cambodian movie or maybe a Thai movie. So you just have to ask, but many of the movies here have English subtitles, uh, either Cambodian movies and sometimes Thai movies as well. Of course, you can see Western movies here, but why would you want to see a Western movie here when you could see like a Khmer or a Cambodian movie? Okay, now I think I'm ready to have something to eat. I'm going to go to this place that this lady makes these great chive cakes uh, made from uh, rice flour, I think, and uh, rice noodles, chive cakes and rice noodles. And she's got like a vegetarian, actually a vegan version that I'm going to have. And there's this great chili sauce that goes with it. So I'm on my way there right now. I'm heading up to uh, Savutha Boulevard here. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh, you got to love those motorcycle taxis. Weed, weed. The, the guys that really put their heart into it, like they use passion when they're selling weed, like they'll say, marijuana, marijuana. I love that. They got a sky bar, but looks like it's only on the second floor. It's got to have a great view, though, if they call it sky bar. Hello. Oh, this nice lady makes chive cakes here. Oh, look at these. So I'm going to get an order of these to start out my evening. Chive cakes and rice noodles.
So I'm gonna have this one, number 10, without the egg. So number 10, no egg. Oh, these are good. These look good. And they're kind of greasy, yes. Grease is good sometimes. There we go. This is my friend. Chili sauce, mild hot, makes this dish so good. I just pile it on. I just dump it on. Okay, it's going in. Mm. Good. Places like where I'm at right now, Kendall Village or the Old French Quarter are nice options as well. You can find some really classy places there. Uh, keep in mind, this is gonna be a quieter evening, so be very careful who you choose to take with you here. I mean, if you're taking like duds with you here, you're gonna have a lot of blank spots. I'm just being honest. There's no distractions, at least with Pub Street, you've got some distractions in case there's kind of blank spaces. So just to choose uh, your dinner partners uh, wisely if you're coming to places like this, but there are some really fantastic uh, restaurants uh, and cafes to hang out here uh, in this Kendall Village and the Old French Quarter as well. It's really nice here, but so quiet. So after those uh, chive cakes that were great with the rice noodles, uh, a little bit on the greasy side. I think I want something a little bit more healthy, so I've come to this place. This cafe here is, I think, quite well known to travelers and frequent visitors to CM Reap. I, I would say it's not a local restaurant. I mean, it's obviously run by locals, but a lot of foreigners come to this restaurant. But the food is really good and really inexpensive. Uh, so I'm going to have the veg larb. Larb is, uh, is um, or lab, is uh, a traditional dish of uh, Cambodia. It's usually like minced pork with spices and stuff. This one they do with tofu and it's vegan, they say, which is great. So I'm going to have that. And, you know, I think judging by the places that I'm actually eating at, you can probably tell the budget for this video. Uh, but, you know, I've spent lots of money on expensive places with nice linens and tables and uniform staff. And, you know, to be honest with you, I really don't think I had that much of a better time uh, that's equal to the amount of extra money that I had to spend. These places for me are just fine. And the people that host these places, the families, just really give you the true Khmer hospitality, which is so nice. They make you feel like family. So my vegan lab or larb has arrived with the minced tofu. There's green beans, carrots, uh, looks amazing. By the way, this dish cost $2.50. The chive cakes and rice noodles I had earlier were $1.25. So uh, I'm gonna really enjoy this now. Cheers. Hello, Mr. Oh, thank you. 
You smoke that? Yeah. Happy smoke, eh? No thanks. So yet another night market. This is Night Market Street off of Savutha Boulevard. Giant massage place. Auditorium massage place. With the movie playing. Another night market. Because you know, there's not enough places selling anchor beer t shirts. Actually, it's kind of nice walking around here. You got a little bit of Kamai traditional music going. And it's not too crazy. Massage, massage, sir. Okay, it's kind of like a chorus now. Massage, sir, every 10 steps. There's actually a lot of uh, really good massage places here in Siem Reap. Um, and then there's the ones with in-app purchases. And another night market. Sorry, I'm not one of those guys on YouTube that eats bugs. So I I'm almost convinced that they, they absolutely have to starve these fish so that there's no other choice but to eat skin off of uh, people with elephant feet that have been walking around Anchor Wat all day. I'm sure they'd be happier with fish flakes. <laughs> no, do it for me. Hang on, hang on. You want to cook? Yeah, yeah. No, one more time. One more. You like to cook? Right about now, I, I'm, I'm guessing you're thinking to yourself, "God, this guy must feel like such a loser walking around a place like this by himself." And you're absolutely right. You know, I think those people totally earn that order for those ice cream rolls, but uh, Somebody like me, I just don't have the patience to wait. I, I just want to order something like that and just like give me two scoops and I'm out of here. Like those uh, Turkish ice cream guys that tease you, they keep, you pay them the money and then they keep poking the cone at you and then pulling it away. I, I, I'm sorry, I just give me, give it, give it to me and I'm gone. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it or even found it mildly interesting, thumbs up, please. 
more videos from Cambodia, East Asia, Southeast Asia, and South Asia. So subscribe to the channel now. From Pub Street, CM Reap, Cambodia, John Sabo, over and out.